Hello, Adrian Richards here again. I'm, the, uh, I'm a plastic and cosmetic surgeon and surgical director of Aurora Clinics based here in the United Kingdom. In this short video, I'm just going to be talking a little bit about the different types of short scar or mini facelifts. So in a previous video, I've talked about the difference between full facelifts and mini facelifts. Um, and now I'm going to be talking about specifically the different types of mini facelifts. So uh, mini facelift is categorised by the length of the scar, um, which is shorter than the traditional scar, which goes in the temple, in front of the ear, and then behind the ear. Okay. So the, probably the simplest type of uh, mini facelift is what's called a Hollywood facelift. Uh, and in this technique, you have a scar just purely in your temple here, hidden within the hair. Um, some of the tissue in this area is lifted up and sewn up. So what it tends to do is just lift up like this, okay, with a completely concealed scar in the hairline. This is a procedure we call under local anaesthetic um, with good results. You know, and it's give you, going to give you a little uh, elevation in this area. So just tighten up this sort of area. So if you've just got a little bit of early cheapness in, a bit of jowling could be for you. Thread lifts were popular, um, they've slightly fallen out of uh, favour. And basically, in a thread lift, Barbed threads, there's a couple of different sorts, are inserted underneath the skin. They um, grip the tissue and then uh, lift up. Um, the problem with them is, um, that number one, they're painful. Number two, they can cause wrinkling, because you can imagine if you haven't actually removed the skin, you can get folds uh, created, and they do recur. Um, you know, so the, the jowling and the facial descent will, will recur, because all it's really being held up is by the um, internal stitches which are going to give after a certain amount of time. So thread lifting, um, I have some experience of it, but I, I wouldn't recommend it as a treatment. So really, so Hollywood uh, facelifts, the least invasive, you can fall under local anaesthetic. Then we move on to what's called the S lift, which was a procedure sort of really invented about 15 years ago, uh, which actually involves an incision in the hairline and down in front of the ear, and that elevates a little bit more. So elevates vertically and backwards uh, like that. And uh, the technique which I tend to use, which is a variation of the um, S lift, is called the MAX facelift. So that's the M-A-C-S facelift. And that, the MAX bit stands for the Minimal Access Cranial Suspension facelift. So the Minimal Access basically just means a short scar. So this scar here, rather than the big scar. That's the Minimal Access, the M-A bit. And the CS bit is, the, it stands for cranial suspension. And cranial suspension is really just um, holding the deep tissues with stitches onto the very firm area here. So the, the actual tissue underneath the skin in this temple area is very firm and very strong. So what you do basically do is put a stitch through there, down to the neck, pull the neck up like that, um, and then to the jowl areas to lift the jowl area up and then to the cheek pad area to lift the cheek pad up. So those three stitches uh, essentially elevate all the deep tissue. So they tighten up all the deep tissue and put it back to where it was in its old position. So that's the max lift, the uh, minimal access cranial suspension. And there are other forms of short scar face lift which um, vary in what they do to the deeper tissue. So the deeper tissue is called the SMAS, that's the S-M-A-S. -S. I'm sorry about all these long words. Um, the SMAS is the, 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 you know, you know, the, the layer underneath the skin, okay, yeah, which, which really, you know, the skin's mobile, but the SMAS is much uh, firmer um, in, in that region. So you know, often the SMAS can be plicated, which is basically sewn together. It, you can go underneath the SMAS and, and lift it up as a layer and, and stitch it back or, as I normally do, um, actually use stitches just to uh, uh, lift it back into its normal position. So I hope that's made it slightly, slightly clearer. Um, short scar face lifts, very, very um, successful in the right patient, you know, 40s, really up to the age of uh, mid-50s. Advantages are a very subtle, rejuvenating appearance rather than a much more windswept look like some of the older facelift techniques. Um, short scar, which shouldn't really be seen. You're, you can weigh your hair up afterwards because you won't see any scars behind the uh, neck there. 
and I find, particularly the Max facelift, very effective in treating people who just you know want to look better, fresher, um, rejuvenated um, versions of themselves without really going for the full facelift um, uh, look. So I'm going to be talking in other videos about other types of uh, facelifts. Um, and if you would like more information, please visit our website where you'll be able to see lots of before and after photos, patient testimonials, people discussing their um, treatments. Um, and, you know, what we aim to do is really is give you an honest opinion, uh, you know, an honest view as to the pros and cons of these uh, procedures to, to enable you to make an informed uh, choice about the best one for you. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the series of uh, videos.